Hey, in the black you, you can just see the image going through it. Oh. So oh. you have this little oh. cutout. Oh. Oh. So I'm going to use uh, that. I love that. And then you can also have this kind of nice in-between effect. If you do like overlay, you get this, you know, oh, it brightens everything. Kind of you know, it, it wouldn't work with this photo perfectly, but yeah. it's, uh, it is a... Um, we have, of course, many more details. That's a long menu, that yeah. blends menu, but those are a few of the key elements. And I went through elements. almost all you of show them, all of them? Oh, on, the, on the way. Wait. So if you go up to callforhelp.com. We, we love that. Now, DV Garage has, a, what, tell, you do a suite of tools, software tools. Right. We have a lot of uh, tools for people who are just trying to get into visual effects right, or right. 3D. One right. of our oldest tools is the... Um, is the 3D toolkit. Right. And this is, it comes with a full working version of uh, Electric Image, actually the one that I used on Star Wars. A really so, I mean, neat program, yeah. Fully capable. That's a 3D rendering program. Yeah, and you can, you Design know, there's rendering. nothing about it that's disabled. It, right. it doesn't have watermarks. It doesn't last for a certain amount of time. So it's a full working version of, of a 3D app. Right. Um, it comes with 28 tutorials, four hours of video, a lot uh -huh. of it from me. Um, on getting people started in 3D. So if you've never done 3D... I know we have so many viewers who want right. to do this, especially kids who want to get into this business. They see Star Wars, they see The Matrix, they say, I want to do that kind of stuff. Exactly. This is how you would get and it, started. It, it really is. A, it's, it's the best way in the industry to get started. On now, normally way. these programs are a lot of money. I know you're doing a special deal right now. Right. right? Normally they're, you know, 500, 2,000, right. so right. on and so forth. Um, this, we're putting this one on sale. It's on sale for another week. Um, it's uh, $99, okay. and it comes with the application, all the training. It's like three CDs, Good PC deal. or Mac. Okay. Um, if you use this little coupon that I had here, um, you'll get an additional 35% off okay. until July 3rd. Lowercase DV, uppercase G, 35, lowercase AP, 36. I'm not supposed to. Could yeah. you make that harder? Okay. I, I you know, it, our, our, our uh, e-commerce guys. They're mad as it is. They, 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 yeah, they, <laughs> they don't want to. And you get 35% off, so it's even, even so less. So it'll be like 65 That's bucks or something. That's a great so deal. So it, it is, uh, until July 3rd, it's, it, uh, we're going to have a ton a more great gift, to too, for a kid in your family yeah. or wants to do that. Now, I know you're going to Africa. Introduce your, uh, your replacement for the uh, next coming four weeks. Uh, this is our... Arthur Viber. Hey, Arthur. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> we appreciate it. Arthur's going to be, he's a DB Garage member, and he's going to be yeah. filling in for you for next week. Yeah. Uh, and and three weeks. Three weeks. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, not, ne not next week. He's only one week. And one it's, week. I think I'm off for three weeks. Oh, I mean, okay. there's nothing going on for three weeks. Wow, and then the last man. week, uh, but, but Arthur's going to show some cool stuff. He's got Good 25 Arthur. years of ad agency experience. Can't wait. Uh, it's right. nice to meet you. Looking forward Welcome. to it. Welcome. And you have a great time in Africa. I hope we get to talk to you over uh, iChat AV. That'd be so oh, cool. Sadi Jakanaka. Sadi Jakanaka. <laughs> what he said. If you missed anything or you just want to catch up with our Photoshop lessons, we've got them all going back to the beginning. TechTV.com. It's time for the Wired World Challenge. Your turn to show us what you know about science and technology. So, Sarah, who's our next victim? Our next victim is on the line. Jeremy from... McKeesport, Pennsylvania. What is with these names? McKeesport. 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 That's famous. Jeremy is a student who enjoys building websites and skateboarding. It's just down the road for Punxsutawney. I used to be a skateboarder. Oh, uh, yeah? Do you shred? Yeah. I had a white skateboard, and every time it hit something, I would take white out <laughs> and repaint. <laughs> it really like wasn't you. That really for sounds me. like you, Sarah. Hey, it's James, right? Hey, James, how you doing? Hello? Hello? Jeremy, I'm sorry. Well, no wonder he didn't answer. I got his name wrong. Hi, Jeremy. Hi. <laughs> Are you ready to play our game? Yeah. All right. This is easier than skateboarding. All you got to do is pick the category, get the question right, do so correctly in 15 seconds or less, and you're going to pick a number from 1 to 25. And somewhere, uh, two of those numbers have a main gear computer, but there's all sorts of other great prizes in there, too, okay? All right. All right. Here's today's questions. Think carefully, my friend. Dem bones, carbon copy, spiraling shape, and under the sea. What's it going to be? Um, dem bones. Dem bone, dem bone, dem crazy bones. All right, Jeremy, this is a tough one. Think hard. You might, you, I don't think you've ever broken this bone. But what is the smallest bone in the human body? Where is it? You don't have to say the name of it. Just where is it located? In the foot. I would have said the foot, too, and I think you're wrong, because he says it's oh. the ear. Our quiz master, Craig Higdon, says the ear. Is it the cochlea? The stirrup. The stirrup is tiny. Uh. I'm sorry, Jeremy. Let's try another caller, Sarah. Uh, I'm sorry, Jeremy. Oh, but Bummer. our next person now has a chance. On the phone, it's Howard from Roseburg, Oregon. I feel terrible about Jeremy, but Howard... His good misfortune luck, is your good luck. Hello, Howard. Hi there, Leo. What, uh, what, what cat? Let's, you know the whole rules. I'm not going to belabor that. Yeah. Let's just pick a category. Carbon copy, spiraling shape, or under the sea? I'll go for the carbon copy. Carbon copy. Compare that last question to this one. I think you'll be happy you chose this one, Howard. 
When you use the copy command in Windows, where does the item get stored? On the clipboard. On the clipboard is absolutely right. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Pick a number from 1 to 25 and make it a good one. You know, for two weeks I've been yelling at my TiVo, 14, 14. 14, <laughs> let's see, 14, TiVo, 14, 14, let's see, 14. Oh, it's broken. It's broken. <laughs> <laughs> Did this happen to Perillo? Did it ever break on Perillo? This is, this is, hey, congratulations, you've got Power DVD XP from Cyberlink. That's actually a great program for watching DVDs on your PC. Great. Do you have a DVD player on your PC? Uh, yeah, I do. Good luck. That, your congratulations. This is, a, this is the best one out there. I love this program, and thanks to Cyberlink for donating it. Can you use that? Uh, yeah, I can, Leo. Thanks a lot. Well, wonderful. Thank you. Sorry it wasn't the main gear PC, but hey, it's still a nice prize. Uh, just to speak to you. Just, yeah, well, just think of it this way. The taxes are much lower on this. <laughs> Thanks for playing our game. The Wire World Challenge happens every day. And yes, there's still PCs in there, two of them. So head over to our website to sign up so you could play tomorrow. Do we have time for Brett's Mac tip? Let's see if we can break anything else. Nothing's worked on this show yet. <laughs> Brett, it's your turn. I know. Well, we already broke the iMac, so now we're going to try and break uh, uh, Eric Lindsay, or uh, this power book. Alex is... Um, Alex, Alex Lindsay's. I wanted to call him Craig. <laughs> I, I don't know. Hey, look, we got an email question. Someone's trying to use downloaded music tracks in iTunes and iMovie, and iMovie says the files are encoded incorrectly. Well, there's a way to do it. You need to be using iMovie 3.0. And you jump over here to the audio tag, click on audio, your iTunes library will come up. And then all you need to do is grab the song you want. I'm going to add this uh, Goodoo Guru. And all you do, drop it right here into your timeline, wherever you want it. A quick thing's going to come up. It's going to import the track. The import will take uh, any amount of time, less than a minute, more than a minute, depending on how fast your computer is. And then it's good to go. And you can do that with even the music you purchase from the Apple Music Store. It re-encodes it so you can use it with iMovie. So the answer is... Yes. Yay! So there you go. It worked! And I, and I, and I didn't break out his laptop. Worked. Thank you, Brett Larson. Hallelujah! <laughs> you can tell this is a live show, can't yeah. you? One yeah. more chance to take our daily quiz. Good I know folks. you're going to do this right. Go to the website, click on the quiz link, get it right to get in the drawing for the shirt. Today's question of the day, who invented Ethernet? Was it Torvalds, Metcalf, Amdahl, or Thompson? Get to the website, give us your vote. We'll tell you in just a little bit. Coming up is the ultimate vacation for true geeks. A bunch of geeks talking Pearl on a cruise ship. That's kind of scary. You know what? You're disappointed by the Matrix Reloaded? I'm going to tell you about the Animatrix. It's so much better. And it's the Corbin Report. Jessica reports back on that tablet PC she's been using. It's all coming up tonight on the Screen Save Us. Yeah. Welcome back. Before the break, we asked you who invented Ethernet. It was Bob Metcalf. Something like 25 years ago, he not only invented Ethernet, he also worked on ARPANET, the precursor to the Internet, and founded 3Com. Pretty amazing guy. Before we check out the email, let's take a look at some of the great stuff coming up on our show tomorrow. Turn your PC into an answering machine that's better than your, you know, your cheesy one. Oh, man, this Roger will show you some great software. Plus, buying a cordless phone is getting more and more complicated. Different frequencies, digital versus analog, security, interference. Tech TV, Han, Tech TV Lab's Han Choi will be here to tell you how to find the right cordless phone. And then we're going to show you a new search engine that will give you visual results to your search queries. Kind of a different way to navigate the web. Live calls, too, all on tomorrow's show. I want to remind you, by the way, on that Wired World Challenge, still two computers to give away. We don't move them around. So pay attention. We added the second main gear sometime last week, and we've had that first main gear on there for a couple of weeks. So cross off the numbers, people guess. That will increase your odds. Aha! Uh -huh. We don't move them around. We other, you know, obviously something new is going to go under that, what he selected. Sarah Lane, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you for it. having me once Do again. Do we know if Kat's going to come back tomorrow? The word is that Kat should be back tomorrow. Okay. If she's not, you'll probably be stuck with me again. Well, Hopefully boy, what a, we'll what, deal. A, what a curse. Either you or Kat. <laughs> I, I don't know how I can go wrong. It's so Aww, great having you. Thank you for being kind. here. We'll see you tonight on the Screensaver, 7 p.m. Eastern. Of hey, course. thanks to DB Garage's Alex Lindsay. Bon voyage. Alex going to Africa. He'll be back in a couple of weeks, but thank you for being here. You come back tomorrow. I'm counting on it, all right? Remember, if you've got a problem with your personal confuser, don't whine, don't moan, don't yell. You know what to do. Just call for help. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Have a great day.